Hey gang, Scott here. So I made a video on my main channel criticizing Marquez Brownlee or MKBHD uh, for his wallpaper app. And in that video, I sort of stressed that I think he might be slowly becoming out of touch with the average person. And I was actually surprised to see and delighted to see he posted a video today about uh, wanting to go back to basics, you know, wanting to film with you know, cheaper gear and just not have a high production value. It's something that I'm trying to do with the side channel here. Um, so I, I like that idea. Uh, but in the video, he had a part in it that is not available anymore where he's in a car. I don't know cars, but he's in a car. It's a fast car and he is flooring it going 96 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour like speed limit zone with a sign that even says like to go slow because there are children around so he's going over twice the speed limit uh almost three times the speed limit and he cut it out of the video on youtube use their youtube editing tools and he cut it out and then uh, presumably because people were calling attention to it a hundred percent uh, the, all the comments on the video are just a lot of people saying like, oh, wow, that didn't last long. You cut that out really quickly. But my favorite part is he left a pinned comment on this video that says, uh, quote, cut out the unnecessary driving clip that obviously added nothing to the video. Uh, this is also a sponsored video. So he also says, I hear your feedback on sponsored videos too. Um, but that first part is really funny to me. I cut out the unnecessarily the unnecessary driving clip that obviously added nothing to the video. So there's no like taking accountability there, right? It's not like he's saying apologies for reckless driving, right? That's really what it is. I, I hope I can legally say that, seeing as how we have proof that that's what he did. People pulled screenshots of it. Um, that that's reckless driving, right? Um, and if it's not, then I guess everything I'm saying is alleged, but he, he uploaded proof of it. So I think that's pretty clear. Anyway, I think it's very funny to see him post this comment out, no context, right? He just says, I cut out the unnecessary driving clip. So people who didn't catch it on their, you know, first go around who haven't seen it are just like, oh, that's, I guess there was just an unnecessary clip that they cut out. Okay, whatever. But to everyone else who has seen it and knows that it's missing and knows what it is, is like, uh, hey man, it's not that it added nothing to the video. It's that you, you, you vlogged a crime, basically. <laughs> you know what I mean? You did something incredibly reckless, not just... You know, it, on its own, it'd be bad enough. But the fact that there were even a sign and it looked like they even tried to blur the sign that said, like, go slow children, you know, um, it looked like they even tried to blur it. It's hard to tell because um, the screenshots are not the greatest. And obviously it was a background element, so it wasn't like necessarily in focus. But God, the the amount of like, trying to sweep it under the rug oh no i cut it out because it was unnecessary no man you cut it out because it was it's gonna get you in trouble honestly i hope it does get you in trouble uh i like i said in my previous video i i like marquez i like his videos but i i feel like he is slowly turning into one of those youtubers who just has a lot of money and drives fast cars and doesn't really care about uh doesn't really care about the speed limit or the safety of others like it's really sad to see honestly um i don't like making drama videos about a person whose videos i like uh but this was really sad and funny at the same time um yeah i hope i hope something comes of that cuz that is dangerous, uh, to say the least. Anyway, bye.